Watchmaking has really become a worldwide pursuit. In other words, there are countries all over the world that have great watchmakers that call them home. However, there is one country that I think is vastly overlooked. And when I'm thinking about my personal preference, on design, functionality, and value, I think this country, for me, comes out on top. So what's going on, everybody? Teddy Baldassar here, and in this video, we're gonna be looking at one of my favorite countries when it comes to watchmaking, Germany. And we're gonna be looking at relatively affordable offerings from Germany and from brands that some of them you might have heard of, some of them you may not have heard of. So we're gonna be going up to $1,000, start with some more really affordable watches and then move up from there. So guys, be sure to leave comments down below and also offer any suggestions about other watches that people should take a look out for in this price range. And if you want me to continue this series with other price ranges uh, from watches from Germany. I think there's a lot of great watches as we kind of scale up in price ranges. So I'd love to see comments down below. But guys, let's jump into it. First up, we have the Gigandet G8012 Red Baron. So this watch comes in with a price point of $150 to $200. Case size is 43.6 millimeters, powered by an automatic Miyota 8215 movement, and are water resistant up to 100 meters. So when I was looking at this brand, there was a good amount of options to choose from that were automatics, but a lot of them were homage watches. So I didn't want to necessarily mention those because those are pretty polarizing, I feel. So I felt this one was at least somewhat unique of a design. So uh, for the price point, I mean, I don't think it's a bad option if you do want to get a little bit more of that German styling with uh, a pilot looking watch here. Next up, we have Braun and the Braun BN0021. So Braun is known for a lot of things. Watches is usually not one of those things that people first come to mind to think of when they're thinking of the brand Braun. However, they do descend from Germany and they have a lot of Bauhaus design elements that they include in their styling of their appliances, but also with these watches here. So you'll find these watches at $160 for a retail price point, case size 38 millimeters, powered by a quartz movement, uh, which you know is a little unfortunate, I think, for the price point. I think you could find some automatics, but the German styling, I think, you know, what are you gonna do? It does look really solid and very simple and minimalistic, but it is water resistant up to 50 meters. So there's some upside here. I um, wanted to provide some of more affordable options in this list as well. So next up, we have a brand that I am asked so frequently about what I think of them, and that is Junkers. And we're going to be looking at the Junkers 6070M2. So this watch is retailing at $200, case size of 40 millimeters. Movement is a quartz powered movement. You can find an automatic version of this watch, but it is going to cost twice the price. Water resistance here is 30 meters. And my thoughts on Junkers, I think they are a great cheaper alternative to a lot of Bauhaus styled watches that you'll find from Young Hans, Nomos. And if you are looking for a watch of that styling, uh, but don't want to necessarily you know, really throw out the cash to pay for one, I don't see these as being horrible options, but if you're gonna be paying the automatic version at around $500, I wouldn't necessarily think that's a good deal. I think there's other options if you wanna go for that styling that I would recommend, and I'll get to those in a moment here. So next we have the Mark & Sons Professional MSD 0282S. So this is a brand that I just recently learned about, and I have to say, I'm pretty impressed with the specs on this watch. So for $350 to $450, you can find this watch available. They have a myriad of different dial colors for these watches, uh, these specific professional diver line watches. Case size is 46 millimeters, so that's probably the one criticism I will have of this watch. It is a little bit large for a diver. Movement is an automatic Seiko NH35, and the water resistant up to 1,000 meters. So this is a really interesting looking watch. I think it has a unique design for the most part. And to find a German made watch, and at this price range with these specs, I think this is a great offering if you're looking for a relatively affordable diver that is gonna be suitable for most situations. I couldn't imagine you diving any deeper than what this will have you covered at. Next, we have the Lissy Seathon Automatic. So these watches are coming in at $350 to $450. They have a case size of 42 millimeters, so a little bit larger here on the case size for what I would want to see in a watch that has a lot of, like, more of a dress aesthetic. Powered by an automatic Miyota 821A movement and are water resistant up to 30 meters. So next up, we have a watch that I was really impressed with. So I stumbled on this brand when I was doing a little more research about German watch manufacturers 
and this one really stood out and that was the de facto vector so these watches i think look amazing and i think when i was talking a little bit earlier about for 500 dollars, what are some good minimalist style watches to go for i think this is an awesome looking watch so for 500 to 650 dollars, you can find these watches case size 39 millimeters so i think that's really solid sizing will accommodate pretty much every wrist out there for the most part movement it's an automatic miyota 9015 movement and are water resistant up to 30 meters but I think these watches just look really clean. The white dial versions as well as the black dial versions are awesome. You have different hands options as well for the coloring. And I just like these watches, simply, simply put, I think they look great. And I think for the price point, I mean, if you want to get a German made Bauhaus style watch, I think these do the job really well. Next, we have the Aristo 5H69Ti. So these watches are coming in at $435 for retail. Case size, 41 millimeters, powered by an automatic ETA movement. I wasn't able to specify the specific ETA they used, but automatic ETA movement, not bad for the price point. Water resistant up to 50 meters and have a titanium case, which I think is pretty impressive. So when you're looking at an overall value proposition for this watch, I think this is a really interesting buy. And Aristo as a brand, I think definitely provide a lot of value. So another brand to keep on your radar here. Next, we have a very frequent player on the channel here, Stova. And we're gonna be looking at the Stova Partitio. These watches are coming in between $600 and $700, and case size is 37 millimeters, so I see these being very accommodating to a lot of wrists as well. Might lean a little bit smaller. 38 may have been a better approach, but still, I think that's a really solid case sizing. Movement, automatic, or manual ETA movement you can choose for these watches. Very similar in what we've seen on Stova in the past when you have a lot of choices with the movement that you want to include depending on the case size and other variables that you want to decide with the watches. And then also water resistance up to 50 meters. I think these are really clean watches, have a lot of use cases in which you can utilize these for depending on what strap you go for, but awesome watches again from Stova that I wanted to include here on today's list. Next we have Graf Zeppelin and we're gonna be looking at the LZ129. The watch coming in here from 600 to $700. Case size is 40 millimeters. Movement powered by an automatic Miyota movement and are water resistant up to 30 meters. Now we have the Young Hans Max Bill hand winding watch. So there's an automatic version of this watch, but I feel that watch gets a lot of love and I think a lot of people don't consider that there is also a smaller option available as well. This is the 34 millimeter version, hand winding, powered by an ETA 28012 movement, coming in with a price point of 600 to $700 and are water resistant up to 30 meters. Again, this is a very iconic design. I own a Young Hans Max Bill Chronoscope and I absolutely love it. Of course, these are different watches and just their size and overall design. And I'm just a huge fan of these watches. Next, we have a watch brand that has been making watches since the late 1800s and that is Nivrel. And we're gonna be looking at the Jubilee 3. So these watches come in price point between $600 and $700, case size of 40 millimeters, powered by an automatic ETA 28242 and are water resistant up to 50 meters. So now another brand that I hear about all the time in the comments that I never really took a closer look at and that is Archimedes. And Archimedes has been making watches since 1924, and we're gonna be looking at their Classic 39. So I like these watches for a couple reasons, one being the case size of 39 millimeters. So these watches are coming in with a price point of 600 to $750, powered by a 39 millimeter case, powered by an automatic SW201 movement, and are water resistant up to 50 meters. So I'm not entirely sure about this watch. I like the look of this watch. I think it's interesting. And there's a lot of different pilot looking watches that you can find from German manufacturers. So definitely take a closer look at this brand. This is just one option here. Um, I think they're definitely worthy of doing some due diligence on. Now we have Young Hans again, but we're not gonna be looking at the Young Hans Max Bill Automatic. So I'm throwing you guys a curveball, not gonna throw you what you would probably expect. We're gonna be looking instead at the Young Hans Form A. So these are watches that retail just under $1,000 and essentially are right in line with the Young Hans Max Bill Automatic watch in terms of their price point and who they would be targeting with their marketing and who they'd be for. So these watches, case size 39 millimeters, powered by an automatic J802 movement, an ETA based movement, and are water resistant up to 50 meters. So another interesting plus here for this watch. I thought these are interesting watches. I think that they are not considered as much when you're thinking about the brand as of Young Hans. And then on top of that, I think they stay true to the minimalist style in which people have come to love with this brand. The only rub with these watches is the 21 millimeter lug width. And finally, we have the brand Laco. We're gonna be looking at the Paderborn watch. So Laco as a brand has really has some good heritage 
falling back to the World War II days with their pilot's watches. And I think as a brand, they do provide some decent value in terms of what you can find if you don't want to throw out all the cash to buy, say, an IWC Big Pilot or something of that nature. A, a nice happy medium here. And I think the designs stay true to that. So we're going to be looking at this specific watch here, the Paderborn. Case sizes here, you have some flexibility. And that's partially why I wanted to include this on this list. They have a 39, a 42, and a 45 millimeter version. Also have movements that vary as well and a water resistance case of 50 meters. All right guys, so those are my choices for today's list. If you want me to continue this series, let me know. Leave comments down below about any other brands that I may have forgotten or watches that I've forgotten. I think either doing a another more affordable watch a series of German watches as well as jumping up to the $1,000 to $2,000 mark, which I would be really excited to do just because I know there is so much value in that price range. But guys, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the bell icon. The bell icon really makes the magic happen here. YouTube really changed their whole algorithm around subscriptions. So please do hit that if you do want to stay up to date with the content. Also, be sure to go be following me on Instagram, fill out the watch form down below, enter to win our watch giveaway that we have every single month. We're gonna be giving away a Seiko SNK803 this month, and I'll be announcing the winner like every single month on my Instagram, so make sure you're following me there as well. And then finally, go check out our Patreon if you wanna support this new generation of watch lovers that we're trying to foster up on this channel. Any support there would be greatly appreciated. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Be well, and I'll see you all very soon.